Film Festival. We've grown a lot this year. Uh, and a special section we have is uh, Antonio Ferrara is going to share some of what he's been doing this summer. Okay. He'll tell you about it. I, I, I want Beth to come with me because it's sort of like Beth's fault that, that uh, this sort of happened. Because she called a few months ago, back in May, end of May, and said, we're doing a festival, would you like to contribute 500 bucks for an award? And uh, number one, I, not, I don't sort of like care much for awards. And um, I wound up spending much more than 500 bucks. So maybe I should have done that. Uh, in any case, th this is just the beginning. And uh, I consider uh, this, this evening wonderful because where it started as sort of like this crazy kooky idea, because of Channel 16 and all the people who participated, so many of you in the audience, it's now becoming more and more a reality. And uh, through, that, through that process, together, we might have a good picture of who we are. And more importantly, we might meet people we, we didn't even know who live next door to us who are doing great things as well, irrespective of uh, anything that we might see on the screen. So that makes me real happy. So what we'll be seeing tonight are uh, like um, uh, excerpts from about 20 to 30 hours from over 100 hours that I've collected thus far, and uh, about 20 hours which have been sent in in the way of uh, home movies. Uh, so uh, the best way to consider this is sort of like looking at um, an, an ultrasound in maybe the first month, where you don't even know if anything in there is actually a baby. And that's sort of like what this sketch is of. And hopefully with continued uh, participation from everyone in Schenectady will have uh, will have an interesting uh, uh, I don't know an interesting picture of ourselves that can grow. So. Thinking, well, wait a minute. I'm, you know, I'm 
I'm thousands of miles away from Schenectady. I'm in the, you know, in the, uh, surrounded by ice. I mention Schenectady, and everybody applauds me. And the chief of the village takes him into his igloo. And sure enough, sitting in this guy's igloo is an electric radio with General Electric, Schenectady, New York on it. And so even they knew where Schenectady, you know, what Schenectady was. So, uh, so that's a great story to tell because Schenectady was everywhere. I mean, their contributions were everywhere in the world. infrastructure and housing uh, stock in place would support a population of that number, but uh, we've had some profound changes in this city. I think, we have to, I think we're going to have to go inside. Oh, there's no question about it. I would say it was, it, was a, uh, it was a Schenectady where you had uh, much more stability as far as the family structure. You see, that that's the key. You know, that's the key here, and I think that's what we're seeing here. When you're seeing a degradation of, of structure, responsibility, respect, you know, instilled by family with values, and that's why we're having a lot of problems with kids today. So, you know, it's a whole different spectrum. Mount Pleasant is much more different, it's much more stable. You had GE employing 40,000 TVs, listening to the radio, reading our, reading our daily newspaper, Nothing is being solved or accomplished with Schenectady's crime wing. For, for law and order in Schenectady, to conquer Schenectady's law, uh, crime way, let's, bite, let's, bite, uh, let's take a bite out of crime. Let's prevent crime. We need, we must put additional police protection with police dogs in, the, in these police cars. We need National Guard protection on our city streets to protect 
attack services of Schenectady from major violent crimes and unnecessary crimes that are being committed day and night on our city streets. Our courts of law, our judges, no plea bargaining, no plea bargaining, sentencing these guilty ones who commit these crimes to longer and stiffer sentences instead of sending them free to commit the same crime all over again. Bring back capital punishment, a lie for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. By November 2nd election, let's have it on the ballot. Bring the power back to the people. Let the people decide, do they want capital?